Hey, what's up guys? Little Man with a Big Opinion here. In my last video, I talked about this How to Survive Off-Grid book. I picked it up. I've been kind of flipping through it and reading it. It's an okay book. Uh, I like the beginning of it, but some of it I think is kind of cheesy and the person that wrote it is maybe somewhat of a guru, doesn't actually do any of this stuff, just kind of uh, looked at other people's research and threw it all into a book and sold it to people that want to do this. But I like the opening part. Uh, the first chapter is literally called Just Get There, State Your Claim, uh, Develop Your Vision, you know, what kind of goals do you want to have? Which I think for anything in life, you want to set goals. Uh, and it is as simple as getting a piece of paper, writing down the goals that you have. Uh, I've told myself I don't want to be working past 45. So that means in 20 years, hopefully I'm not working. That's a goal that I've set. Another goal that I've set is having 10 years of food stored away for a rainy day. I'm getting pretty close to 24 months or about two years. So that's a goal that I've set. Whatever our goals are, physically put them down on paper and then create a plan of action to achieve those goals. So I like that, you know, goals or develop your vision. Uh, the next part is kind of talking about what you want to have you know on your off-grid living which the very first thing that they have on here which is I think is the most important is water they say some sort of manner of water stream pond river or even an area that is kind of holding water that can be excavated and turned into a pond uh, they say open sky that basically means a cleared out spot that you can set up your homestead. Uh, know what you can and can't do out there. So, you know, check with your local laws. Can you build a road? Can you do this? Can you do that? Know the weather for the area, including rainfall. You know, is it prone to flooding, tornadoes, or other extremes? Uh, you know, what are your summers and winters like? So I think that is a highly important thing. Uh, get to know the people around you. I think that's super important depending on how close uh, you are. Uh, it says rent, lease, or buy. I can tell you right now, you don't want to be renting something if it's going to be on a homestead. You want a mortgage for it. You also want to know things about the outside world. So yes, you are homesteading, but you're not cutting yourself off from the world. You still want to be able to go out to eat at restaurants, go on vacations, hang out with people in regular life. Uh, it also mentions, you know, the closest hospitals, uh, grocery stores, things like that. Uh, and then they literally put one sentence on here, bug out capability. Perhaps you're one of those people who wants a piece of land for an emergency stronghold, also known as a bug out location. Uh, this off grid property could be what is right for that situation. So it's two sentences, my bad. Uh, Know your bare minimums of what you need to get started. I think that's super important. And then it literally just says, get started. And that's that's the first first bit of it. And then it jumps into a gimme shelter or you know your starting starting home. I've been watching a lot of Daisy lately. Uh, 
and they're always talking about their starter bases before they start building their main bases. So, I like what comes out of this first chapter. The first chapter is make a plan, develop your vision. Find what you're looking for. What you're looking for should have water. Is it already cleared for building or do you need to clear it to start building? Uh, you know, know what you need to get set up. Uh, does it have water? It doesn't mention anything about uh, utilities, so I'm assuming later on in the book it's going to talk about rain catchment, a well, solar panel, wind turbines, things like that. Uh, and then it just says get out there and get started. So, first chapter, I enjoy it. I'm going to read through the next couple of little bits and We'll keep doing this uh, little read-along thing. If you enjoy this introduction to this book, uh, I saw it on Amazon. I think they have a ebook version of it. If you want to get it, um, I think as a prepper, we should have a large prepper library. You can kind of see a little bit of my library in the back. A lot of it's history stuff, but some of it is prepping books. It's useful. I don't expect you as preppers to know every single thing out there that pertains to surviving. So it's good to print that stuff off or buy books of that now while we have electricity, internet, things like that. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you enjoy what I'm doing with the channel, please consider subscribing. And lastly, if you have a friend or family member that would benefit from these discussions, send the link with, of this channel out to them. And with that, catch you in the next one.